welcome. We are so glad you're here. You found your way to Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is Bear, who loves to read every story with us. You know, Bear was just looking out the window and counting those twinkling lights in the sky last night. Do you know what those are called? If you said stars, you're right. Do you ever count them? There's so many, aren't they? Well, let's see what Pete the Cat thinks about all those stars in the sky. He loves that song, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Do you like it too? Let's sing along with him and hear about some of his thoughts about those stars in the sky. Ready? I'll put on my magic reading glasses and let's find out what Pete the Cat thinks about Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Pete the Cat, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star by James Dean. Ready if you are. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. When the blazing sun is gone, when he nothing shines upon, then you show your little light. Twinkle, twinkle, all the night. Then the traveler in the dark thanks you for your tiny spark. He could not see which way to go if you did not twinkle so. In the dark blue sky you keep and often through my curtains peep. For you never shut your eye till the sun is in the sky. As your bright and tiny spark lights the traveler in the dark, though I know not what you are, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. How I wonder what you are. Well, we can be thankful that we do have all these little bright lights in the sky at night so that we can see better. And aren't they beautiful? Sometime you might ask your parents, whose idea was it to put all those little lights in the sky? <sighs> Bear is tired but he's having a hard time falling asleep. Does that ever happen to you? He asked if we could read him something that will help him go to sleep. Let's see if we can help Bear. I'll just put on my magic reading glasses and let's read Good Night Moon. Good Night Moon by Margaret Wise Brown. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs and two little kittens and a pair of mittens and a little toy house and a young mouse and a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush and a quiet old lady who was whispering hush good night room Good night, moon. 
Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. Good night, kittens. And good night, mittens. Good night, clocks. And good night, socks. Good night, little house. And good night, mouse. Good night, comb. And good night, brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. And good night to the lady, whispering, hush. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. has a suggestion for a book he thinks you'll love to hear about today called Pete the Cat and the Bedtime Blues. Have you ever not felt like going to sleep? Well, that happened to Pete the Cat too. He was having so much fun playing in the sun and surfing with his friends. He came up with an idea to have a sleepover. And guess what happened at the sleepover? No one wanted to go to sleep, ever. So he had to think of an idea that would help them all sometime get to sleep after all the playing. Let's find out what happened. I'll put on my magic reading glasses and let's begin. Pete the Cat and the Bedtime Blues. Pete and the gang had a great day. They'd been at the beach, surf and sun and tons of fun. Look at them surfing. But when the sun went down, they didn't want the fun to end. Pete had an idea. Hey, how about a sleepover? More time for tons of fun. Groovy. Pete's place, let's go. Vroom, vroom. The party was far out, but they knew they couldn't stay up all night. The gang decided it was time to say good night. On went the pajamas and out went the light. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. Pete was just about to catch some Z's when clap, clap, clap. Who did that? Pete asked. It was me, said Grumpy Toad. I don't want to go to bed. I want to clap instead. Pete covered his head. This cool cat needs to go to bed. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, Toad. Good night, Pete. Time to sleep. Pete tried again to catch some Z's when rat-a-tat-tat. Who did that? Pete asked. It was me, said Gus the platypus. I don't want to go to bed. I want to jam instead. Pete covered his head. This cool cat needs to go to bed.
time to sleep. Good night, Gus. Good night, alligator. Good night, toad. Good night, Pete. Pete closed his eyes to catch some Z's when he heard munch, munch, munch. Pete had a hunch. It was alligator. He was always up for eating. What could Pete do? All the clapping, rat-a-tat-tatting, and munching was giving him the bedtime blues. Pete had a groovy idea. He got out his favorite bedtime story and started to read. First to himself and then to the gang. They all settled down. No one made a sound. Pete yawned and turned off the light. Good night. Sleep tight. Time to catch some Z's. Tomorrow was another day for surfing, sun, and tons of fun. Well, Bear, what'd you think? Does that ever happen to you? You just can't go to sleep? Well, if you ever have a hard time getting to sleep, I hope you remember to pick up a book and just start reading it. You'd be surprised. You could find yourself before you know it. Well, that's all for today. I hope you have a very good night's sleep and come back and visit us soon for more story time so I can put on my magic glasses. And together, we'll open up another book and meet another friend like Pete the Cat. Bye-bye.